nailed that synchronization. Did we? Even the computer was like, damn, bitch. I don't think the computer had that much of an opinion on the it whole did. situation. It did. The computer was like, damn, bitch. I, is your computer Keenan Wayans? Keenan Wayans? Who's Keenan Wayans? Wayans? Wayans. One of the Wayans brothers. Yeah, he's the one, I think, from the scary movies. Oh, so the uh, I can't even say he's the garbage one. When's the last time a Wayans brother did anything there was, good? There was two, and then there's also uh, Major Payne Wayans, and then there's... Who is the same Wayans from the one that did that one sitcom? How many Wayans siblings like are there? They're the Black Baldwins. Oh my god. Which there's so many. It's like when you think you've run out, there's an extra one. And then there's the Bridges over there just trying their best. They're like the Baldwins <laughs> if they were all Billy. Yeah. And black. Everyone, uh, why are you laughing? See now you're now I'm trying to do it. I'm try- I'm genuinely trying my best now. <laughs> I don't even care. Fuck it. I'm Hugo. That's Jake. This is the intro we went with. <laughs> this is how bad we are today. Turn back now. It's over. It's taken so long <laughs> to get to this point. Well, in fairness, your neighbor came over, and I don't know what your. Na- I, that's a foreign concept to me. If my neighbor came over, I'd be like, what, are you going to rob me? What's happening? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> it's an old lady. Oh, especially then. I'd be like, oh, God, I hope you die before you get to the doorbell. <laughs> she don't can't come rob here. me. Yeah, I can so, defend myself against her. So this is the Bible Reloaded, uh, starting with quality <laughs> as always. And today yeah. we're, we're diving back into Ecclesiastes, which if you've seen the previous few episodes, you know, tells you that life and everything in it is meaningless. Uh... Solomon was just a huge dick who didn't care for anything, but he still owned slaves because I guess that mattered to him. Anyway, today we're going into uh, chapter 2, verse 12. Wisdom and folly are meaningless, (laughs) which, again, that encompasses, like, a dichotomy that that encompasses all (laughs) things in that category. So I don't think you need to talk about this at all, but whatever, here we go. That's one thing we're good at, if anything. The one skill we have salvaging garbage by saying yeah it's garbage look at how good this garbage is though it's <laughs> it's not even good garbage. as far as garbage goes Which, this is we, that i think i think our skill is underselling the garbage so that they're like well it's garbage but damn is that a deal yeah we go like it's garbage that's been rotting for seven months and it's full of diapers with indian food that we force fed these babies and then they go in and it's just like normal compost and they're like oh Wait, does that mean we have baby foie gras somewhere? Yeah, for you sure. Know foie, you know what foie, foie gras is? Liver, right? It's Fat, duck livers. Liver. After you, they're, they're duck livers from force-fed ducks. Yeah. So if we force-feed babies, we could have baby foie gras. I'd eat that. Yeah. I'll give probably. it a shot. Only, only Asian babies, though. No, I'm out then. It's not a race thing. It's just a taste. It's just a taste thing. Yeah, no, I'm out. Wait, maybe that is a race thing. Oh, I'm racist. Never mind. Then I turned my thoughts to consider wisdom and also madness and folly. This really sounds like a pretentious, like, 14-year-old on the internet. Now I decided to turn my thoughts to these existential questions that everyone's been considering since humans stood upright and could think about concepts of metacognition. And no, I nailed it, though. I nailed it and I wrote it down. Fuck it. And then his monologue gets cut off by... Peter, your uh, vente mocha is ready. (laughs) And then he walks over to the table and sits down alone at the desk and continues talking out loud to himself. He types, no, he types it all out uh, on his Mac, which he uses to blog and write his screenplay that he's been working on for 13 years. 
Wow. The char- he's only like 16. The That's ca- a min- I know. The characters are really <laughs> starting to come together, though. Bing Bong the Duck has really got a lot of dimensions now. See, now See he- it's called Bing Bong the Duck because he started it when he was three and stupid. Or because he just saw Inside Out. That's the name of that one character. He can't use that name now. Disney, Disney swiped it out from under him. I like that we're a sentence in to the to this this section, by the way. This whole section has been dragging on. If you like game grumps but hate video games, we nailed it right now. We are nailing it. What more can King's successors do than what has already been done? I saw that wisdom is better than folly, just as light is better than darkness. Okay, that depends on who you are. What if you're Batman? What if you're Batman? That's for sure. What if you're a criminal? It's what? still the same answer from Batman to criminal. Darkness equals better because it's hard to do crime at noon when there's a lot of foot traffic. Solomon nearly, Solomon merely no. adopted the darkness. No, I no, was no, born no. into it. That almost no, went. That's awful. I tr- no, you gotta go. <laughs> Solomon merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Oh yeah, molded yeah. by it. Yeah, you nailed yeah. that. You yeah, nailed that so hard. You're welcome. I'm gonna fix my back with a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Wayne, right? Yeah. So he's he's like it's Batman. He's the world's greatest detective. He's the he's you know uh, uh, well versed in many a things. He can like he found a fucking he, he he found a thumbprint from a bullet hole in a wall in the movie before. Yeah, from the fragments of the bullet within. Right. He didn't he didn't at all oppose the rope back procedure. <laughs> he like had he to wasn't use- like. Oh, uh, actually, I've I've done a lot of study on the spine. This is not how to do it. <laughs> He's in that uh, that pit that didn't make sense, so it's all right. Good yeah, try, pit, Christopher where Nolan. Where was that pit? I don't know. Where was it? I don't know. Where, how did he get back? Did he just catch a red eye? Yeah, probably. He's Batman. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. I know. Like, I'm not worried about how he infiltrated Gotham. Batman. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fuck it. But look but how did how he the, get there? How did he get from across the world? Off screen, they ha- he met Superman, but this universe of Superman is really awesome and doesn't murder people. <laughs> so, Superman always kills people from boredom. The wise have eyes in their heads while the fools walk in the darkness. I think he's confusing foolish people with the blind. Like, look <laughs> at that fool tripping over stuff. No, Solomon, he... He he has syphilis. He has neurosyphilis. He is blind, like Al Capone. Oh no! It's typing out comments. Uh, Al Capone wasn't blind. He went crazy, and the IRS and uh, and then they opened his vault, and there was nothing. Fuck you! You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking commenters. I hate you guys. I love. <laughs> I love it when uh, we preempt you, you bitches. There's nothing better than disdain for your own audience. Just ask George Lucas. <laughs> it seems to have worked out. I guess it How did. Much did. He did sell make... the franchise for four billion dollars. Oh, that means we could at least sell ours for four dollars. Oh, I'll take four. If anyone wants to buy the Bible Reloaded for four dollars, and you can do whatever you want with it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, bidding starts at four. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I can I can already see the comments this episode. You guys didn't talk about the Bible at all this episode. Yeah, you're right. It's our show. Is, Sorry. Yeah, it was kind of like episode two. Oh yeah. Ever. Yeah. The first, the, the second episode ever. We talked about Pokemon for like twenty minutes. Yeah. Don't uh, don't go watch that. It's bad. <laughs> I guess so is this though, and you're here, so. Then I said to myself, the fate of the fool will overtake me also. What then do I gain by being wise? I said to myself, this too is meaningless. For the wise, <laughs> like the fool, will not be long remembered. I mean... So it's about legacy? But see... Yeah, the, but, the wise, but the wise are remembered more than the fool. The funny thing is, is that Solomon is revered, air quotes, by, by Christians as a hero of the Bible because he's like the wisest person who ever lived other than Jesus. So... No, <laughs> you're right. This doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, I, I can, all these wise people that no one remembers, like Socrates and Plato, and I don't know, uh, 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 uh Aristotle, Tyler Perry, <laughs> close, Medea. <clears throat> but so funny. Look at he's dressed like a woman and he's sassy. <laughs> it's no longer funny, Tyler Perry. Now it's just in bad taste. It was never funny. Did you see the the trailer for a Medea Halloween? 
Don't you fuck? Why? Now it's seasonal? Yeah. They now already, it's like, fuck it, I don't have any more ideas. Let's do Medea's Halloween. They already did a Medea Christmas in which a, a, a company was trying to build a mall or something and they wanted to stop them building the mall. Right, of course. Because there's like three farmers in the town and it's going gonna, it's gonna to harm a water source. Or they could get bought out and never have to toil again. I don't fucking know what's... God damn it, Tyler Perry. You were in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot. Yeah, he was the guy that was the... We'll call him the judge. I don't know. He was a councilman. And he was like, fuck you, James T. Kirk. And then they're like, oh, no, there's this, there's a thing happening. And then he, the next scene he's in, he's like, yeah, I'm going to suck your dick, James T. Kirk. I think he was like the president of Starfleet Academy or something. Was there is there a president of that? I don't know. I'm not a. I'm really do I look like I that... haven't had sex with a woman? Why would I know that? <laughs> Sick burn. What does one look like when they haven't had sex with a woman? Um, have you seen a Star Trek convention? Yes, a lot like that. Oh, I don't even. I like so. Star Trek. Why am I shitting on Star Trek fans? <laughs> I don't know. It's good to know. I think Tyler Perry should take comfort in knowing that future himself will be important. <laughs> like, he's still got stuff to look forward to. There should have been an offhanded remark from one of the Starfleet people. Is that my fucking Medea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a holodeck accident, and now he exists in real life. So we were like, fuck it. So I hated life because the work that is done under the sun was grievous to me. All of it is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. I hated all the things I had toiled for under the sun, because I must leave them to the one who comes after me. What a fucking... Oh my god. This is such a self-serving, bullshit, crybaby, piece-of-shit person. Yeah. Like, oh, nothing makes any sense, and nothing is worthwhile, because I'm not gonna live forever. I, there's, there's, Fuck you. There's plenty of religious people who feel that way, though. And it's, I know, <laughs> that's exactly why they feel this way, is this shit. Where they're like, oh, if you don't live forever, everything's meaningless. No, motherfucker, you still die and go to heaven. You think the farm you planted is now more meaningful because you die and go to heaven? No, you don't get to see that anymore. Now some asshole, probably your kid, who is an asshole, has to take that farm. And now he's the potato farmer. Do you think that's a good life? No. No. That's potatoes. Have you met the Irish? Have you met anyone who exclusively deals in potato? <laughs> it's not a good living. Although they say that you could live on potatoes and water forever because of their, uh, uh, they're very nutritious. That's how Matt Damon survived on his shit potatoes for like two years. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You could live a long time on potatoes. Man, you know what pissed me off if about If you're that? Matt Damon on Mars. You know what pissed me off about that movie? Uh, what? For such a smart guy, he did not think about his ketchup rationing at all. <laughs> that was that was the one thing that made you mad? Yeah, because I like that movie. So Yeah, I like that movie too. Yeah. It's a good it's a good flick. The book was Matt better. Clickety clack clack clack. I don't care. I'm not gonna read nerds. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, this I turned into one of the called one... "How to Alienate Every Person That Likes You." For some reason, I turned into one of the bullies from Revenge of the Nerds this episode. Fucking yeah. nerds! And then, yeah, and then one you're of... all virgins who like Star Trek. <laughs> Meanwhile, he likes Star Trek. I don't. I no. I'm just. I'm just being an asshole. I like. You know what's the best part about Revenge of the Nerds? One of the nerds totally rapes a chick at the end, and then she's like with him. She like starts dating him. It's so weird. What? Yeah. I used to watch that movie as a kid, yeah. so that's weird. You probably were like, oh, ha, 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 she doesn't know who he is. She thinks it's her boyfriend in a mask, but really it was the other guy, and then she takes off the mask. This might explain all the abusive relationships I've been in. Yeah. And who knows whether that person will be wise or foolish, yet they will have control over all the fruit of my toil into which I have poured my effort and skill under the sun. Wait a minute. Motherfucker, it doesn't matter anymore. You're dead. That's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was okay. going to say, if you really think it doesn't matter, then why do you care if they fuck it up? It doesn't matter. Chill out. <laughs> He's so worried about his, look at all this shit I built. I hope no one fucking ruins it after I'm gone. Not to mention, you didn't fuck you. You didn't fucking toil. You said in the last, like, chapter, you have slaves. Your slaves are toiling. How do they, you think they feel as you sit on, I will assume, your wraparound porch drinking sweet tea? I'd like to think of Solomon as, like, a old-timey uh, plantation owner. <laughs> yeah, he basically was yeah. just a Jew one. And an asshole. 
Thomas Jefferson had a shit ton of slaves, and he fucked all sorts of them. Yeah. But even he was like, yeah, I've got lots to look forward to. i got frilly arm things, and Ben Franklin's my bro, best friends with James Madison. Like, we do things. It's probably gay things, but don't worry about it. Also, I'm Tommy J. Agrarian Society! Woo! I'd like to think if Thomas Jefferson were brought forward in time and saw Barack Obama, he'd go, oh shit, that's the president. And then he'd go, yeah, and then he'd lean into you and go, is uh, is uh, that one of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Sally Hemings, Google it. This is like the fifteenth Sally Hemings joke. I think they. You know why? You if know they why don't it's... absorb that by now. Get out. It's hilarious because literally the second president of the United States <laughs> was fucking one of his slaves. Yeah, that's the whole joke. That's the punchline. The president of the United States was fucking his slaves. And everyone was like, yeah, all right. So my heart began to despair over all my toilsome labor under the sun. Hey, boy, why aren't you working faster? Whew, that took a lot out of me. <laughs> For a person may labor with his wisdom, knowledge, and skill, and then they must leave all they own to another who has not toiled for it. <laughs> you don't have to. You could leave it to the government. Yeah. Or burn it all. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I want no trace Scorched I ever earth. lived. Yeah. If I ever die, this, this I'm gonna put it in my will. Someone has to delete this channel, and no if one. If you will ever, ever die, yep, you will also be killed. Is there a possibility that you're gonna make it forever? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll make it to that stage where I'll become robots. Ah, uh, what if we're doing this for like 500 years because we become robots? I want to be a robot. Man, we're we already struggle for cold opens sometimes. <laughs> 500 years from now, we're gonna be like, fuck, we gotta do that show thing for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be like, aren't Robo Dicks hilarious? Uh, and then you'll be like, ah ah ah, ah ah ah, Robo Dicks are hilarious. Robo Jefferson fucked his Robo slave. <laughs> it's gonna be the same thing 500 years from now, just with robot tonalities. Oh, maybe we'll finally hit 200,000 subscribers by then. <laughs> ah, no. This too is meaningless and a great misfortune. What do people get for all the toil and the anxious striving for which they labor under the sun? All their days, their work is grief and pain. Even at night, their minds do not rest. This too is meaningless. Wow. He is not speaking for me. No. I sleep like a baby. He needs some, some I don't know, is Ambien a sleep medication or is that a pain medication? Well, I mean, that's the reason I sleep so well. <laughs> Ambien, fifth of whiskey. Like, take a huge bong rip out of a gas mask bong. What you always need to do. And then that, that quiets me just enough to sleep for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is every night you take that sleeping medication that gives people weird sleep habits where they'll, like, sleepwalk. Take it every night in excess doses. So if you murder someone, you can always say, yeah. oh, it was the medication. Oh, it was the ambient. I don't know why I stabbed her 57 times. <laughs> uh, uh. Was it, what is this part of the joke? I can't tell what's going on here. <laughs> uh, nope, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Oh god, it's happening. This is the end. What if a fucking is... like <laughs> xenomorph bursts out of my chest? Oh man, no one would believe you. you. You're not recording the video, just the audio. You, <laughs> you absolutely have to die while we're recording. I will upload it. Oh, I hope I'd hope you would. Don't waste that shit. That shit'll get a million views. Shitty yeah. D-list YouTuber dies on YouTube. <laughs> sort of. All right, let's finish this bitch. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I coughed all over the Bible. That's so disrespectful. A person can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in their own toil. This too, I see, is from the hand of God. For without him, who can eat or find enjoyment? If you've ever seen Shake or I, you both know we find much enjoyment in eating. So. Yeah, I find plenty of enjoyment eating without God. Yeah. Did you know that God has never once helped me with dinner? And he's never done the dishes. What a dick. He's a terrible person. Like, he I certainly... I certainly don't don't uh, appreciate having to share ten percent of my income with him. <laughs> That's the tip for the food he made. Like he made that chicken, you burnt it. Fuck him. He's also well. Then by virtue of him, he's also ruining my tiny little garden with the squirrel attack. Squirrels are attacking my garden, guys. He's trying to send you delicious squirrels to eat with your vegetables. Come on. It's okay. I have two different tomatoes, some carrots, beans, and peas are all working out. 
Just gotta replace some of the peppers. And the motherfucker stole a whole onion. <laughs> a, a squirrel. Can you? A squirrel dug up an onion bulb and took it. Yeah, that's not gonna. That, it's not gonna like it. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah. I hope it cries a lot. I hope it dies from the onion. I hope the onion grows up out of it. That's not how food works. Squirrel onion. To the person who pleases him, God gives wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. But to the sinner, he gives the task of gathering and storing up wealth to hand it over to those who pleases God. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Hold on a second. So, if if you uh, appreciate God, your toil is somehow meaningful? They didn't even explain why, because you're still going to die and give it to some motherfucker after you. And you're just going to be up in heaven and be like, this guy, he's running my company into the ground. Oh, no, look at him. He's free and all the slaves. Ah, oh, no. Now the blacks and the whites are getting married and they're liking each other and they're making tiny brown babies. There's peace on earth. <laughs> American athletics improves tenfold due to the influx of African-American athletes. <laughs> oh. Rap. Chicken. <laughs> what? Those are also improved. Rap and chicken. Okay. I don't know if that's... From the uh, blacks. Get some chitlins. No. I don't know. Chitlins are gross. Grits? Grits aren't... Grits are a southern food just in general. I think it's raceless. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's the end of that. My name is Doris. I've been working at uh, this diner know. for 40 years. <laughs> Where did this come from? My throat genuinely understand. started hurting, so now I gotta talk like this. I adopted a character around it. <laughs> I was on my you way just... to California, IA, to get my acting career off the ground, and then I stopped here in Tulsa, and uh, just never made the rest of the way. They offered me a job. Here I am. Married a guy. Tulsa's, married, Tulsa's barely halfway. Married Arnold 30 years ago. He's uh, he exists, I guess. I don't know. I see him sometimes at home. He's he. I think he died three years ago. He mummified. He was a very salty person. <laughs> I don't understand you. I don't understand anything. <laughs> I live in Tulsa. Anyway, you follow these jabronis on the Twitter. Jabronis. <laughs> she's she's. <laughs> She's a diner waitress that moved to Tulsa on her way to California, married a guy who's probably dead and mummified in their living room, but also says jabronis, which is like an East Philly thing. I didn't tell you where I was from, you jabroni. Apparently, she's a huge, like, Flyers fan. Follow- Just loves the Philadelphia hockey. <laughs> Follow these losers over at, uh, the, at the Bible Reloaded on the Twitter sphere. Whatever you kids do, and uh, at at the Hugo Reloaded. Doris. Oh God, he's alive. <laughs> Doris. You were so salty. It smelled of the earth. I was just napping. Oh okay. Give me a beer. I not get, We don't have any beer. You know I don't drink beer since you died. Do you have any Fresca? Well, of course we have Fresca. We have that. We have we have Crystal Pepsi. What is Diet Mister Pib? Wait, what year is it? <laughs> uh, it's it's twenty aught fifteen. Fifteen? Oh yeah. Oh, it was two thousand sixteen. Oh fuck! How <laughs> do we get Crystal Pepsi? Oh, oh, I hope someone subscribes to this channel. This piece of shit channel. <laughs> I hope anyone who's here feels disappointed in the choices they've made. I'm I live in Tulsa and I still feel bad for you. I don't even know what that means. If you want to support this nonsense, go over to the patron. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's orange, primarily. <laughs> click it with. I think it's French. Click it, Doris. Click it with your computer rats, and uh, <laughs> and put put in monetary value. If you if you want to see the collapse of civilization much quicker, do that and vote for Donald Trump. Those are the. I two was things. gonna say, are you gonna mention Mr. Trump to the people? I, I mentioned him. I said it. Did you say make America great again? It's implied. All right, Doris. All right. right enough of your lip. There we go. There'll be a special patron-only hangout live on the Saturday. 
Neither of us will be a member of that particular production. I don't understand how to loot, how to use the, the, the internet TVs you kids are using. I think it's called a Google box. Shut up. Watch your tubes. Doris, can we stop yelling at each other? I can't hear you if we don't yell. Only one ear works, you know that. What? <laughs> Until next time. I'm Doris. Tell the people your name. And I'm Harry. This has been my life. I hope I die. <laughs> I hope I'm dead by the end of this sentence. Nope. <laughs> Here we go again.